of mine, you know, you know Ask me what I'm doing, just grinding Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more pins, tryna reach the next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photos So official with the vibe, you can pick up my zone Hold on for a minute, let me count mine, you know, you know What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I am back with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. Your boy, man, I am doing okay, man. I know you guys are wondering where have I been for the last two days. You guys know sometime I'll go without uploading for a couple of days, but the reason why I haven't uploaded for a couple of days, guys, is because I've been dealing with some things that's been really, really emotional for me that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I'm, I'm really excited at the same time, but I'm also confused um, at the same time because I'm not for sure what's real or what's fake. And I guess with me having so many trust issues, you know, um, it's like I don't really know what to believe and what not to believe. I don't know if someone's playing me or someone's trying to scam me or somebody's trying to use me because they know who I am now. Or let's just say they know who I am, but because I got a name for myself now as far as when it comes to the social media. And so like, um, wow. I never thought I'd be doing a video like this, man. I I mean, literally, I never thought I would be doing a video like this. Um, so, a few days ago, I'm just gonna get to it. A few days ago, I had got an email, okay? Um, the email was from someone that I've never heard of. Um, never even heard of this person before um during the email the, the it was more than one email and the first email was almost like a freaking dictionary i mean it was like a dictionary it was almost like a freaking paragraph and then i got multiple emails after that so this is crazy man this is crazy 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 you guys know like i've been telling y'all for all these years i've been on youtube for six years guys november 16th of this year will be six years that um i've been a part of the youtube family um my first couple years on youtube what wasn't um as successful as it is now and what i mean as successful as it is now like i didn't have as many people viewing my youtube channel the first couple years as as many people as viewing my youtube channel right now to the current day uh which is ten thousand a video sometimes 15 20 000 a video and so it was like things have really taken off and so now with me doing youtube more and my email is out there you know my email is in my description box for like people who want to reach out to me via email like sponsorships branding deals and stuff like that and so I get like a lot of emails, but a lot of my emails, I don't really open those emails up. I mean, I do open them up, but so many emails be spam. It be garbage emails. Some emails be like commenting on a video that I might've done or something. And for some reason it goes to my email as well as my comment section on YouTube. So this particular email, like I said, a couple of days ago i was just scrolling through my emails just looking like i get like a, a, a lot of branding deals people want me to sponsor their products on my channel and stuff like that and some of that stuff you guys have to be careful if you're getting like emails from sponsorship branding deals a lot of those guys are fake a lot of them are fake don't get too excited when you see a branding deal flash across your email saying oh my god someone wants you to sponsor them a lot of those are fake guys they're scams don't believe the hype especially if they're sending you stuff like um download what's that one app um whatsapp a lot of those if they asking for like whatsapp and telling you to download whatsapp guys a lot of that stuff is fake guys it's not real a real real sponsorship is not going to ask you to communicate with them through whatsapp it's all fake guys trust me um 
so basically this particular email as I was scrolling through the title like the name says hello son hello son yeah so now that really kind of got my interest like wondering what the hell's going on who the hell is calling me their son I'm 51 years old I'll be 52 in a couple months June 10th to be exact so I opened the email up you know I wasn't gonna like I didn't open up at first I just read as far as I could read without actually opening the email up so finally my curiosity got the best of me I opened the uh, email up and it was like hello son um, I know that you don't know me from a can of paint um, then a person starts going on talking about where I was born at and they kind of like new stuff about me that well I'm not gonna say they knew stuff about me that nobody knows because everybody on here knows exactly what city and state I'm from you can google my name and see what city I was born in the state of Indiana you could see who my parents were um, and stuff like that but they were just telling me stuff like they're very familiar with me they wanted to get to know me and yes it was a guy you know I don't want to say his name because now now that I know his name he definitely watches my videos and um, so that's where he claimed that he found me at to try to get in touch with me so the guy is going on and on in the email he even mentions my mom name he mentions my brother's name my one sister name he even mentions my siblings name like my children so it's like I'm thinking to myself like is this guy trying to say that he's my dad okay so this is really serious guys this is not a joke this is not for clicks or views this is not for any of that shit this is straight up so this guy is leading leading me in the direction that he's my dad and that he's been searching for me for a long time and that um he wants to meet me but he's unable to travel because he's up there in age and stuff like that. But he really wants to meet me and talk to me and stuff. And so I emailed the guy back. And my my only response was, yeah, right. That's what I said in the email. You know, I got a smart mouth, especially when I think that somebody's trying to, you know, play me or whatever. But I gave up on looking for my dad in 2000, 2001. I lived in Indiana at the time in 2001 and I was dating this lady and one of uh, my relatives you know I had been asking like do y'all know who my dad is so one of my aunties had actually given me this guy's name which I talked about in past videos and so I ended up finding the guy's phone number in the phone book based off of his name and I asked the guy I said hi my name is Damian Cryer and before I can even say anything else, the guy was like, I already know what you're calling for. The answer is no. And just told me respectfully not to call back. And I didn't. So that was in 2001. So I had mentioned a few times in my videos, you know, that I had never met my dad before. And that um, I wanted to meet him because I'm getting up during age, you know. I taught myself how to drive. I taught myself how to shave. I taught myself how to cut my own hair as I was coming up. Not that I cut my own hair now but I you know I you know I taught myself so much stuff and I taught myself how to be a dad the best way that I can even though I made mistakes and went to prison multiple times well a couple times and I've been arrested multiple times for dumb stupid stuff that I had no business doing you know I still taught myself how to be a man and one of the most things that I regret about being a dad is some of the decisions that I made back then by not being a part of my kid's life. And a lot of people be like, oh, well, you show this child favoritism over this child, this and that. But what people don't understand is it has nothing to do with favoritism. It's about doing the right thing for me. Um, you know, like what my two youngest, Dion and Darian, you know, I'm not in prison. I'm not locked up you know so i'm able to be in their life i don't have an excuse or a reason not to whereas damon margaret akeem and deontay as i was growing up when as they were growing up i chose the street life which landed me in prison and so i promised that i'm gonna be there for my kids as long as i got breath in my body but now this guy is sending me emails and saying that he could possibly be my dad 
And my biggest thing is like, you know, like why now? You know, and that's the question I ask myself. Is it real? Um, I didn't exchange phone numbers with him. Um, he did send me his phone number. Um, he did send me his phone number. I actually Googled the phone number, like the error code, and I think it was South Carolina. It was a South Carolina error code. Um, I don't know if, if that's where the guy's originally from, but when I typed in the error code on Google, it said South Carolina. So it's just kind of weird because it, it's like, I don't know really what to believe. I would love to actually meet my real biological dad, but I would be surprised if he would still be alive. I mean, I'm 50. I'm in my 50s now. So that would probably put him in his, what, 70s or 80s. So I don't know if it's a scam going on, um, but I just wanted to share this with you guys because this is kind of like big news to me. And like, he did say some things, you know, that almost makes me wonder like how did he get that information because there's certain things that you can get on google you can get a lot of people's life history on google for instance if you type my name in right down on the google search engine right now it's going to pop up damien crier it's going to show my age it's going to show how many brothers and sisters i got it's going to say my mom's name and stuff like that it was going to it's going to say who i was married to at one time and stuff like that but there's certain things that they can't really find out about you on Google because one particular thing that he did say in the email, it did make me raise my eyebrows. And it was something that I couldn't really search on Google. He knew like my auntie's names, which is my mom's sisters and stuff. Like Google don't say my mom's sisters, my uncles, like my mom's brothers, you know? So I kind of, actually today he had emailed me again but i didn't respond to it again um basically asking me that am i going to use the phone number that he provided now when it comes to situations like this i'm not for sure what to believe because again like i said if it is true and it's really him why wait all these years later to come out like why wait all these years to say something to me um and maybe I shouldn't think like that because everybody's not out to get you. But then you don't know people's intentions nowadays. But it's just, I don't know, it's really been bothering me. I'm not going to say this has been stressing me out. But it, it does have me thinking a lot like, you know, what if it's real? Could it really be true? Is this guy really my biological dad? Because, again, I'm going to choose my words careful just in case he is my dad. And I find out one day that he is. And he could potentially, I'm sure, watching this video, waiting for the next video that I drop to see what I'm gonna say about the situation. Because as a 51 year old man, and somebody coming into your life saying that they're somebody like your mom or, or your biological dad, you're gonna have questions like, so I don't really know what to do here. Um, I have talked to my peoples about it. Um, not everybody, but they're going to all know now. But I have gotten some advice, you know. Um, I, like I said, I don't, I don't want to think negative and stuff like that. I want to keep a positive mind frame because everybody is not scammers and everybody is not out to get you. You know, I would, you know, if it is really him, I would like to meet him one of these days. But it's like, I don't know what the hell I would say. If you guys was in a position like this, what would y'all do? Would y'all just walk away? Would y'all just walk away or just keep going? Because I never met my dad before and I don't want to meet somebody who I've never met before and then they walk out of my life again, if that makes sense, you know? And I'm wondering if it's the same guy that I actually talked to back in 2001 when I dialed that number. And he told me that he knew who I was. As soon as I said my name, he said he already, I guess when I said crier, he already knew what it was about. And he told me no and told me, please don't call anymore. And I'm wondering if it's the same guy because back in 2001, I was just working at a regular plant every day. I didn't really have a name for myself. And I'm wondering if it's the same guy now who sees an opportunity. I'm going to just say it. 
because even if he watches this video and he feels some type of way about what he what I'm saying do I really have anything to lose by saying what I'm saying so I don't know if this is the same guy now because the first guy based off information in 2001 based off the information I believe that it was him I really authentically believe in 2001 that guy that I had spoke to on the phone it was really really the guy that's my biological dad I mean when I heard his voice it kind of sent chills down my spine and like my aunties and them was like you know like he looked just like me and stuff and everything the time frame matched up and I'm wondering if this was the same guy that I talked to in 2001 and now it is 2022 and now that I made a little name for myself you know a small little come up in the YouTube world on social media and I'm wondering if this is the same guy who's just trying to come in now because he sees an opportunity I don't know this is kind of like a really awkward situation and like I said I was pondering if I wanted to do this video or not about the situation because if it really is him I don't want to run him away with this video but I still feel like 51 years I deserve the right to be able to speak on how I feel as long as I'm not bashing so you guys let me know in the comment section down below if I should actually call the number or do you guys think that it's probably just a scam um you know i don't mind sharing stuff like this with you guys because i look at you guys like your family every video that i drop no matter what it is i get several hundred comments if not thousands of comments so i just you know it, i don't know i feel really really awkward about this whole situation you know like south carolina You know, I'm not going to be around here forever. So I would like to know one day what it is. Is it really him? You know, and we never know when it's going to be our time to go. You know, I just want to make sure that I'm not going to be wasting my time and end up getting hurt by this and finding out that it's just a scam. Um, I don't know. I'm asking you guys, what do y'all think that my first thing should be that I, that I should do? Um, should I set up at a... Should I set up a trip to go down there to meet him? I mean, I don't want to, you know, it's weird. I don't want to just give him my phone number. He gave me his phone number openly and freely. You know, um, I took his name and I did uh, Google search his name. I did Google search his name and he was born or well, raised, born and raised in Fort Wayne, Indiana the same city that I'm from, that, what it, that I was born and raised in. But from there, it's really nothing else. It looks like, uh, from what I've seen in the Google search, the same guy, he's been divorced, I think, three times. So it's just kind of a weird situation, man. You guys comment down below and let me know what y'all think I should do, or if I just keep it moving. And then um, based off of what you guys tell me, I will let you guys know what my next move is going to be in the next video man but this is really emotional but it's also exciting at the same time um i don't know man i really don't know how i feel right now about the situation it's just really weird because it was unexpected but comment down below and let me know what you guys think what advice do you guys have for me if you've ever been in a position like this a situation like this where one of your biological parents that you've never met wanted to come into your life right now after all these years what would y'all say to him or her like how would y'all approach this situation um would you be excited about it should i take a chance and meet the person after i do my research because i'm going to do my research i'm going to do my research and investigation and find out what's real and what's false because i'm tired of getting hurt i'm tired of people lying to me plan me using me to get what they want from me and then i find out the truth about them later on so this is you know this is pretty serious so like i said it's 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 been bothering me and i wanted to just move right past it and just say to hell with this i'm not going to reach out but he did send me his phone number 
I did put up some information showing that he was from Fort Wayne, Indiana, and that um, his age is, you know, it's just like some timelines do add up, but I don't want to jump into something and then get my feelings hurt. So you guys let me know what y'all think. This is very important. Um, I don't know. This was unexpectedly. This I, I this was completely unexpected and caught me completely off guard, man. But and, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, I'm gonna end this off, man. Um, let me know what you guys think, and I will keep you guys posted on every step of the way. I mean, I would like to meet my biological dad one day. I would. I mean, who wouldn't? You know. But this is crazy. It's crazy. But anyway, man, I love you guys, man. I thank you for watching this video. And the ones who take the time to comment on this is very important to me. I need some feedback on this. Because this is a very serious matter, guys. But I love you guys. Until next time, I'm Damian Cryer. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.